Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Lander Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked, well, kind of ranked one v one again. It's a PTS, but whatever. I told him to pick someone good, um, because I'm gonna be playing Kali today. Kali, Kali, got a buff, right? She got mana buffs to her one or and her three, and maybe her two even. I'm not sure, but she got a lot of mana buffs. All right, let's get the get the ice out um she got a lot of mana buffs so that she can actually you know use her abilities and not feel terrible about herself and she got buffed damage when you're hitting all of your uh all of your two when you press two you shoot out three one goes straight one two go to the side if you hit all three of those you're doing extra damage so it really um it really gives you kind of It really gives you a good incentive to like actually aim your skill shots now. Let's see, that's 10 power, 3% movement speed. The increased movement speed right out the gate is actually going to be really nice. Against him, I will go Link. And because my mana got reduced, I'm going to actually start with all three abilities and see if it makes really a big difference or not. I mean, I'm not sure if it will. By the way, starting with a uh, speed buff right now is actually really good. 15% move speed is very significant. Um, especially because you don't need boots to get movement speed anymore. So like right when you start the game, you build this and then you pick up speed buff. You're already... 18% faster like you already have a second pair of boots out the gate So the reason I wanted to play Kali is because I wanted to showcase the new mannequins and I thought well with Kali's buff and the new mannequins buff There's probably a lot of things I could do um, So basically let me go over what mannequins does it they increased how much damage you're doing per hit now You can see it starts at 15 and then goes up to 45 and normally in order for it to hit that 45 mark you need to um you need to hit the the buff or you know whatever you're hitting four times for it to cap out now they changed it so you only need to hit it three times for the damage to cap out which is incredibly significant because it shows like you just have so much more burst and also they increase the damage it does to players because I wasn't doing enough, honestly. I mean, just straight up. Just wasn't. Um, and you can see, by the way, right there, how hard this two hits. Like, look at this. I missed. But uh, <laughs> the first time, I didn't miss. And you can see how much damage it did. But yeah, so now, all Mannequins does more damage. Because it used to do 10 damage physical. And then scale up for, like, over four hits. But now it does 16 damage. It scales up over three hits. So just faster ramping damage. And as you can see right here, it scales with your physical power and um, your physical or magical power. So it's not only going to be that same 45 damage over the course of the game. I mean, it will be in jungle buffs, but uh, it's, it's not going to be that same kind of garbage damage. Over the course of the game, because it's going, it's going to scale with you. I mean, it's going to do a lot. Like you can see, it's doing 11 damage per tick to him right now, and he will die right here. By the way, sorry for being sorry. <clears throat> but yeah the damage ramps so much faster and it also makes it not easier to use because it was never a hard starter item to use like it's just added on to your basics but i guess it makes it more impactful like you actually feel like this the mannequins is really doing damage to your enemy whereas before it felt like it didn't do anything like the mannequins didn't help you against fighting it only helped you against jungle jungle clear 
So now it's helping you against jungle clear even faster, and it's helping you against enemy gods even faster. And you'd think, well, I mean, that's pretty ridiculous. That's where the buffs stop, right? No, no, it's not, sir. <laughs> Instead, the buffs go even to the sustain. So what happened before, the sustain would be, it would give you 12 HP, and I think, or maybe 15 HP and 10 mana every time you killed a jungle buff. Which is okay, you know, that's a little bit of sustain, especially in Conquest, you're like, I missed, by the way. Um, Especially in Conquest, you're like, okay, you know, uh, it helps, it helps, right? But they buffed it. The you now get 3% of your overall max health back. You get 3% max health back and 5% max mana back. So you are healing and sustaining so much faster. So much faster. You can see there, I hit him with two auto attacks. And my two, my two did 329 damage. Because I hit all three of the ticks. So it gave it a little bit extra burst damage. And that, I mean, it proves it. And he's getting mannequins too. He's, he sees the power of it. It's a very strong start item now. Especially for auto attack characters. Like, you know, hunters or something. And you can see right here. It's the first real sign of it scaling up. It went from 45 damage. Hold on. Is, are you dead? Nice. Uh, it went from 45 damage to now. One, two, three. 53 damage. 53 damage. It went up almost 10 damage in, you know, one item. The scaling is really nice. It, it's going to keep your buff clear really, really strong, even though the buffs are scaling with you. And that's that's really what they wanted to do, because they, they understood that, like, the damage to help the buffs, or damage to help clear the buffs is good and all, but it falls out after, like, the first five minutes in the game, because buffs get stronger, too. Minions get stronger, buffs get stronger over time. And that 45 damage is not going to hit the same as it did when the game started. You know what I mean? So adding scaling to mannequins is so strong. I wonder how much it's going to hit him for. Yeah, like that's only two stacks. Only two stacks of mannequins. I hit him two times. Mannequins did 45 damage. If I hit him a third time, that 45 would probably be about 100. That's crazy. I, I don't know, dude. And the sustain you get from it, it makes it feel so strong. There's like nothing bad I can say about this item anymore. Also, uh, fun fact, it still does lower attack speed, I think. Yeah, they have it, their attack speed reduced by 4.5. Um, does that stack? Yeah, it does. So the attack speed does get reduced. Not by enough for it to really matter until you upgrade it. If you upgrade it. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it, it's just... Right now, it's all just the mannequin's difference. Look at that. 20 damage a tick. Like, I hit him three times with three autos, and mannequins did 100 damage. And my two, by the way, did 450. Buffed Kali, buffed mannequins... Might be a force to be reckoned with again. Kali might be coming back into the meta as a... Uh, or in duel. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Holy crap. Seven autos, 1200 damage. My two hit for 850. What's the scaling on this shit, bro? <laughs> Each blade does 105 damage. I hit all three. It's 315 damage plus the bleed every 0.5 seconds, which is six ticks. So it's 30 damage per blade. Times six. That's 180. Your middle tower is under attack. 30 damage times six. 
is 180. Oh no, and then you triple that. What the fuck? Because it's 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 a bleed per blade. Oh my god, <laughs> wait a second. Holy shit, that's insane. Wait just a darn second. I got a test. Hold on. I just want to see how much damage my two does. 446? With just my two? Oh my god. That's nuts. That's so, that's too much. 440. You're not like... When you play Kali, the reason I'm saying it's too much... When you play Kali, you don't expect to like... You don't expect your two to do a lot of damage. You expect to use it to gain the lifesteal bonus so that you can trade with your auto attacks because it gives you 30% lifesteal if you didn't know. Um, but you can actually use it just to, like as genuine damage now. Like just chuck that bitch like you're a mage and poke him for 400 damage. The 12 second cooldown. That's nuts. Also, what does this do? They buffed Serrated Edge. They gave it, I think, 10 to 15 more power. Oh, I forgot you can auto through the Phoenix now. They changed it. actually game i'm not gonna end i'm not gonna end here we do not end here instead we go this okay. item and then we sell this item for this item uh just kidding i can't afford that yet but i want to get it i just want to like i'm gonna be so fast because i want to pick up this buff and i will be able to So we're going to wait. We're going to get this, uh, this, will help us all. this golden blade, which is going to give me 10% move speed. Oh God. And then this is going to give me 15% movement speed. We have 561 move speed. And we didn't sacrifice any damage to get there. You have 560 movements. Wait, I've sprint too. Okay, let's 599 move speed. Okay. Dude, I think Kali is going to be meta again. She's fallen out of the meta for a couple of reasons. One is that uh, animosity build in duel really takes over the meta just in general. But with animosity out of duel, it opens up a lot more space. So you have that reason, animosity being out of duel. You have the mannequins buff, which awards or is which is very strong um and helps out a lot of auto attack assassins, such as Kali. So that's the second buff. Kali herself got buffed, so she's a lot less mana hungry, which is one of the main reasons she's not actually really picked in duel anymore. And then the fourth buff, which is removing boots, which actually helps Kali be able to get that burst damage and that that kind of snowball effect that she wants. 
Because once she gets to level 20, she wins the game. I mean, it's Kali. It's late game. It's the same as Kronos. Um, so she actually had four things go in her favor in this one patch. And I think we might just be seeing the rise of Kali meta again. It's going to be scary, but don't worry. Don't worry. I am Sam, dude. I am here to help you through it. Create memes big enough to beat beat the meta. Eventually, I'll find something to beat Kali. <laughs> but just know, when, you, when this patch releases, which I think it releases on the 13th or the 15th, um, when this patch releases, just ban Kali. Because I think that she's going to be... She's going to be very, very difficult to beat. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the information. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye! Peace.